Hello my Soka universe. Well, I am pre-recording this because I'm going now potentially on a six day vacation. And again, I want to fill you up with some videos to bridge you over. But as I said in my Bayern Jersey video, it won't be that, that many. I really thought that until mid-September, I will not be watching soccer. And then I realized the Nations League is coming. Fortunately, I made it in such a way that I can watch Nations League once I come back. So basically, yeah, Messi screwed up my preparations a little bit. But yeah, I prepared for Nations League here. Uh, put up some national team jerseys. I'm happy to see a change and finally have some national team jerseys up again uh, Behind me are kind of the teams that I've uh, rated or that are rated highly to do something in the in the Nations League and then here on the side the next bunch and It's a good time to be patriotic because national teams are always a time to feel a little bit more patriotic although I'm not the biggest patriot out there. I'm very upfront with that. I'm happy if Austria does do well, but if they don't do well, it doesn't hurt all that much and I can find always another national team to cheer for. But speaking of which, I'm excited that we finally see national teams. There's always something special about it. It also gives me now the opportunity to react to the Nations League draw, because when it happened, this seemed so far away and it actually is slash was, that let's look first at the groups and here we are, this is all League A. Um, again, this is my new setting for the standings. Uh, don't mind the win draw loss because, you know, I'm coloring these now. It looks a little bit messy. But what we have on top is kind of the goal average, which of course at the moment is zero. And then again, this disbalance measure, this time on the rating. And I give you the rating. This is now my personal rating based on ELO and FIFA. Uh, ratings uh, for the different teams that are all in the right left uh, column and the right left in the right most column and then uh, you have the chances the team get promoted so finishing in first place and the chances of them being relegated based on these ratings so in group a we actually have two of my favorite national teams facing each other netherlands italy bosnia and herzegovina um yeah bosnia seems to be the outsider here very very clearly um i think a very interesting one is uh, the second league a group between england and belgium belgium note are the most highly rated they're bo in both ratings are very highly rated uh, they are the favorites, hence they are up there in the number one spot. Uh, pretty in the interest group with also two Nordic duels in there that we would also see at the Euros. So, uh, nah, we don't see because Iceland is not yet at the Euros. I was mistaking Iceland for Finland. More on them a little bit later. So, uh, that's an interesting one. Then Portugal, France, Sweden, Croatia. I have to say this is probably the most even one in a way. Um, of course, you have the world champion and European champion in one group, and Sweden and Croatia are always those outside, outsiders that can do something. As you can see, Sweden is the low, most lowly rated team in there. Uh, quickly on the second group with Iceland, they are clearly the outsiders there. And then the last one, Switzerland is in the first pot, but boy, did they get a tough draw with Spain and Germany in there, which actually makes it a little bit fairer than Ukraine as well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Switzerland goes out in that one. Uh, Spain and Germany seem, of course, always strong, but the last Nations League did not go well for Germany. And, you know, Ukraine is kind of this dark horse that no one really knows how they will do. So that's for the big boys. Let's go lower. In Group B1, we have Austria, Norway, Northern Ireland, Romania. Very, very, very even group. And you can see it already on the... Um, this balance measure, you know, one is very disbalanced, zero is not disbalanced, but this is a very even league. So this is for the overall and the most uh, balanced group is this one, Austria, Norway, Northern Ireland and Romania. Um, I don't want to call it, to be honest. I would think from the talent, Austria should, this should be a battle between Austria and Norway for first spot with Austria having a slight advantage if our coach would finally uh, be a little bit more uh, brave and not always have this small thinking because with Austria we really have great players but they are very badly coached. 
Uh, interesting group is the second one with Czech Republic and Slovakia that faced already in the Nations League and Scotland and Israel in the previous Nations League as well. So um, also relatively easy, uh, even uh, on the top maybe, Israel probably the rank outside side here. The Czechs should be the strongest one, but I don't know what to think of the Slovaks, so that might be a um, duel between those two. Uh, definitely the most interesting group because I jokingly say these are all the nations that give trouble uh, in yeah Austria, Western Europe or whatever. I'm of course saying this joke jo jokingly, but you know politically, it's a very very interesting group. Russia, Serbia, Turkey, Hungary. I love this one. Absolutely love this one. Um, I know Russia. They're all not really uh, on each other's throats, but. It's a very interesting group to say the least. And then last one, a little bit falls off. I actually, I think Wales will be very happy to be in the, in the group, although I, Wales, Wales and Ireland, that's interesting. I don't know, we'll see about Finland, how they will do in Bulgaria, are the outsiders, you know, my wife's Bulgarian, so I have some uh, interest in Bulgaria as well. League C, well, that kind of say less. It's, it gets a little bit more disbalanced because the talent of Europe is really dropping off. I mean, Montenegro, Cyprus, Luxembourg, and Azerbaijan. Uh, I find it interesting that Luxembourg is in this group, but you know, Montenegro is also favorite to win that one. Georgia, North Macedonia, Estonia, Armenia, you know, uh, North Macedonia. Although I think Georgia has a chance in that one. I want to see Armenia because on the day, Armenia can, can, can be a really pesky opponent. Greece should dominate their group with Kosovo, Slovenia and Moldova. However, I remember Kosovo did not do that badly in qualifying, so it might be a little bit more even. I actually think Slovenia, although they are rated highly here, I don't rate them as highly. They, they would have great players, but they are not a team. I think the difference between uh, your uh, Oblax and Ilicic and Pazalic and the rest, there yeah, is just too, too much. Uh, difference to balance the squad out. But hey, maybe they surprise me. Then Alban Albania, Belarus, Lithuania, Kazakhstan, yeah. Gut feeling would tell me it goes Albania's way, but who knows. But yeah, League C and then League D. And I really hate that UEFA cut it down to just two League D groups because I really loved League D in the previous one. Um, you gotta love the D, D2 group. Gibraltar, Liechtenstein and San Marino. I mean, that's basically Minnow Central. I mean, Faroe Islands, Latvia, Andorra. I mean, we, thanks to Latvia, who are really bad, actually. Although good enough to beat Austria. <laughs> Austria and Latvia, that's another story. Um, thanks to Latvia, this actually looks like a big group, which it really is not. So, let's see what the Nations League will dish up for us from uh, 3rd to the 3rd of September on, it starts with a bang, a game that I think should be on everybody's watch list, Germany against Spain. I don't need to talk much about that. Um, personally, I probably will have an eye on Bulgaria, Ireland because of family, but also Russia, Serba, Serbia looks intriguing, intriguing. Uh, the second day, uh, Norway, Austria, it is for me. I think this will be a very intriguing duel, but also Slovakia the Czech, against the Czech Republic. I think really nice, nice duels. Italy, Bosnia was really good in uh, Euro qualifying, and Netherlands, Poland could also be interesting. But I think uh, I find the two League uh, B matchups a lot more interesting. And on the last day of match day one, um, I don't really see, I mean, we have in League A interesting uh, matches. I mean, Denmark, Belgium could potentially be quite interesting. Sweden, France, always interesting. Uh, Portugal, Croatia probably takes the, um, uh, is, is the pick of them because uh, those two, you know, your European champion and vice uh, world champion. That looks interesting. Then it goes further into Sunday. Um, yeah, Spain, Ukraine could be interesting. Switzerland, uh, Germany. Also, um, with Serbia, Turkey. I don't know why, but this looks interesting as does Kosovo against Greece in a way. Uh, then if we go further, Netherlands, Italy, the big one on Monday. I think that is one to watch. I think that dominates. I mean, I would pick that over Austria, Romania anytime. And on the last match day, we have the big replay of the World Cup final, France against Croatia. So that's probably the standard tie. Although I think Denmark, England, not too shabby either. 
So that's my little preview of what's uh, waiting for us in the Nations League. Let me know what you'll be watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.